All right, so today's video is going to be making weedless prototypes for the long tail mud motor. This is a Swamp Runner long tail mud motor. Uh, we're gonna try to make it weedless so that your bushings don't burn up. Stay tuned. Perfect. Just go into that screw for the flange bushing on the back end. This is a rust mark where the prop normally rides. Somewhere there. So the first concept that works is this. This is on there. Crop goes on. Follow that keyway. And then that way, there's no space here for weeds to wrap around. This moves freely if you don't tighten it down all the way. But it's supposed to spin. It can spin, it can stay like this, doesn't matter. Uh, weeds can't collect here to block water flow. You, you need water flow, you need water to flow through there. So the whole point, or the whole goal objective here is to stop weeds from collecting there to stop the water flow. We want water flow, we want to stop the weeds collecting. So this was fix number one. It works, but the problem is you can't slide a prop removal tool over that. Now if you break a prop, you can take the prop, like completely break it off because it's already broke and then you put a new one on, you don't need a prop puller. But if you're playing and experimenting with props, this doesn't work too well because you can't get this prop tool to work correctly. You can notch it, do all your fun stuff, but I'm not about that. So, to fix that, we did the zip tie. You can break the zip tie, cut it, and then take this, remove these two pieces, put your prop puller back on, fix your prop, put this on, use a new zip tie, and you're good to go. So this works for me, but not everybody can 3D print their own spacer. Now this situation, we're going over this, like this. And then using the prop, like this. And then you can depend on, each prop will fit differently on this shaft. So like the hurricane props, they sit way far up here where you don't have much of a gap. You can see where this weedless sits because that's the one that I run all the time. You got a good gap there. But with the hurricanes they sit up pretty high so you you're gonna have to adjust this. That is the issue with this one. It's not adjustable. It, it's a set width. So I cannot use this with the hurricane props. So to fix that. C price you'll see him down in the comments the majority of the time. He came up with this idea. Just use a PVC pipe to fix it, and that way nothing can wrap around or collect there. And we are going to drill holes to allow water flow to go through there. So this is just a prototype, I'm gonna make a few of them. There's a few different uh, variations or options. Uh, all of them, I'm gonna bevel this edge so water easily flows over it. Also, there's gonna be holes drilled in the side of this so water can get to this bushing. That's the whole point of this is to stop weeds from collecting, allow water to flow. The other good thing about this is that I'm going to use a, um, a ring clamp or a, you know, a hose clamp. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut a notch in here and then that way it will be able to squeeze down and collapse onto the pipe so that way it doesn't move. The other thing I wanted to test was if I make this longer I can use these on top. 
only be able to get it to the first one, I could probably cut a slit where it slides this way around the skeg. So the slit goes through there and it'll hug the skeg. But I'm probably only going to utilize this first one and make it go to about here. And then I'll also use a ring clamp or a hose clamp here, like a screw down hose clamp to sandwich it on there. You still got to cut the cut a uh, notch in there, slit, whatever you want to call it, so that way it'll actually collapse. So I'm going to make a longer one with this prop sitting out as far as it does. I don't have this on an engine so it moves, so this shaft has play in it. Normally you don't want any play in this, but it's not on an engine right now. So we're going to push this. This is movable, so we're going to get it where we want it, and then put the hose clamp down that way and then that way it should stay there we're gonna drill holes so that way water can flow through there and that's gonna be our experiment for the weedless prototype number two by C price so alright correction I am not going to make one that is longer because I don't want to try to find a screw that will accommodate the thickness of the wall on this tube on this PVC pipe so I'm just going to keep it here, I'm going to cut a slit in it, and then I'm going to find a hose clamp, stainless or regular, for now it'll just be regular, I don't know if I'll have a stainless one on hand, but hose clamp, and then that way I can adjust it where I need it, hose clamp it in place, and then we're good. I guess you could add your own screw here if you needed to, uh, we'll see if the hose clamp is enough. So I'm just going to make a second one, the two things I'm going to test is holes that go straight down and then C price also said for the top ones drill either towards the prop and then the bottom ones you drill towards the bushing so that way it create, creates a cyclone in there and funnels it to the bushing so I'm gonna make two different kinds one with straight holes and then one with angled ho uh, holes see how that goes so I'm gonna make a second one and then get the drill out A small one, and then I got a large one. So we'll see which one benefits more. Um, this will probably be the straight hole one, and then the longer one will have the the angled holes on it. So we're going to go ahead and drill those angled holes. So this one will be straight holes. So that'll be good, make them symmetrical. My battery dead. Yes, I know I'm not doing the safest way, but use your own common sense, and if you're not comfortable with it, don't do it. Finished product, not the straightest holes, but for what we're gonna be using for Do Perfect. So this will be the shaft side, this will be the prop here, slide it, we'll slide it onto the shaft, then put your prop on. Your bushing is going to be right in here, this is going to be the space in between the prop, and then inside is going to be your bushing, so water is going to flow through here and get to your bushing that way. And grass shouldn't be able to collect because it doesn't have anything to grab, it just keeps, just spins. So this is our short one. Our long one, we're going to do angled cuts doesn't really matter which way I do them but one half say this top section cut this in half here not actually but look cut in half these are gonna go that way and then these bottom holes are gonna go the opposite way that way water is like a corkscrew so that's the whole concept I don't know if it'll work or not but that's why we're testing it so to do that I'm gonna get a smaller drill bit so I can make pilot holes and then I can angle the bigger bit to make it better. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did here, but I'm going to do a smaller bit, and then I can use this bigger bit and actually use that as a pilot hole and angle it in. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
holes. So one, two, three, four. These four on the bottom will be going that way, and then these four on top will be going that way. So that way, if I want, I can twist it this way, see if it makes a difference, and then twist another 180 or 90, and see if that matters which one's up or down. So now I'm gonna angle those holes. Okay, so we got those four angled, so now I need to angle them the opposite way. I don't like drilling towards my hand. Yeah, this one would probably be better if you had a vise or a clamp or something so you didn't have to hold on to it. I promote safety, but sometimes it's a, it can be an inconvenience and I don't feel like it was that much of a safety issue in the first place. Okay, so now we have angled. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but some of those are, four of them are angled one direction and then the other four are angled the opposite direction. And in theory should create a vortex looking type of type of flow so it helps push water in there so, we'll see I don't know if I can really calculate or see if it makes a difference or not but I'll just use a wood bushing or one of the cheap orange flange bushings because those melt really easy so we can tell if it doesn't get enough water or not because it'll just melt and I'll just have to replace it and then we know that it doesn't work. So straight holes, angled holes. This is a shorter one, longer one. Um, the longer one won't work with like hurricane props because there's not much space to fill anyways. And this can't continue further backwards because of the screw on the shaft like this. So this long one won't work with a hurricane prop because the hurricane prop goes so close to the bushing that this can't push back anymore due to that screw. So that's why I made the short one was because uh, those burrs on the end it fits so tight that so that way it's equal with the bushing it's flush so that way I can get the hurricane on you're probably just gonna have to bump it just a little bit and I still don't know if that'll pull enough water through those because it's still right on the bushing. But that's why we did it. We're going to experiment, play around with it. If you're on the bayou bushing, then you're not going to have a problem anyways because I don't really even think they need water. Uh, those things, I haven't had them wrapped in weeds for many minutes running full RPMs. And I didn't notice any shaft play because you normally get a lot of wear in there. And you'll be able to move this a lot and you'll get knocking and you'll hear the vibration and feel it too. If you get a bayou bushing, you won't have to worry about it. But if you're running a wood or a bubble bushing or the orange Delrin bushing, then you'll need it. But these are second gen. We'll see how it works. All right, so just multiple ideas popped into my head. Um, this is inch and a quarter. You can also do one inch. Cut a whole slit across the side, and it sort of will clamp onto this shaft because... PVC bends a little bit, so it may just work best if you use the one inch, cut a slit in it so you can sort of fold it onto the shaft, and that way it'll clamp itself and you don't need a hose clamp. I was going to uh, cut a slit in this so I could use a hose clamp, but I can't find a hose clamp to fit this for now. So what I think I'm going to do is put this on the back side, tighten it onto this, so that way it just can't move or push backwards. I think it'll be fine rubbing up against the prop. If not, I'll find out in a bad way but for now I'm just going to put on the back end a zip tie I do not think will work back here I think it'll slide backwards but with this I could probably tighten that down and not have to worry about it moving anywhere but either way we still want a little bit of a gap I mean with this prop rubbing if this doesn't move it's just going to melt where it's rubbing and then it'll finally give but I think the best solution would be to get a one inch PVC pipe, which I do not have, drill your holes in it, cut a slot in it, do that with like a sawzall or a Dremel tool or something, just cut it so there's a slit there. You'll be able to peel it open, 
put it onto the shaft, let go of it, and it'll it'll want to close, and it'll hug this this pipe, and that way it'll, it should stay in place. But for now, it moves. I don't really care if it would move or if it stays put. Um, I would want it to stay put because I want to test if there's a better way for these holes to face because they're angled. But for now this will work. I may actually use that shorter one just so I'm not tightening this hose clamp onto that screw head. Alright so this is it. These are the, the spacers that we made. Uh, instead of fitting in here they're fitting over top and um, that'll be that. So next is going to be the backwater kit. The Swamp Runner is off of the John Boat and we are moving on to the backwater kit. So we're going to be testing out the backwater kit. It'll be on the boat probably a month or two. I'm going to put a few hours on it and test it out, see what it does. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the video. And if you enjoyed this one, like it. If you didn't, dislike it. And let me know what you thought of it. Thank you for watching. This is JT Gatoring.